<laughs> he saw that he was, on the day. Yeah. And they get off. Yeah. So, hey, let him get off so Jacob can be roused up. Right. Yeah. You know? Right. I got a quick one. This uh, you shouldn't be out there. Pro you shouldn't be out there in the midst of that anyway. Exactly. You should not be out there. Which yeah. somebody claimed. Uh, somebody claimed there was a hoax. Somebody said that they. But I mean, I saw a video. But hey, you never know. The the, the damage has been done. You know what I mean? Whether it's fake or not, and that right. shows you we're in confusion. There's so many false flags that some people don't believe fucking nukes are real. But like, look, <laughs> just because it's a false flag, don't mean that's real blood being shed. You know, it's a. Um, it's a, uh, 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 what they call it, a public experiment, or uh, damn, there's a term that Esau uses. Uh, uh, there's a fucking term, I can't remember. Right Social now. experiment? Yeah, like like it's it, it's real, but they're doing it in real time. Yeah. You know what I mean? A live exercise. Yeah, live exercise. It's a live exercise, you know? It's, uh, 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1, this know also that in the last days. Right, we're, we're in the last days right now, man. All right, we, we we have been in the last days since Yahweh Shai yep. came, and when he got on that cross, yep. he died, yep. he rose again, yep. he's still with his men for uh, 40 days, teaching them, supping with them, and then he got beamed up by a chariot. We have been in the last days, so how much more now? Now we're in the last seconds of the last days, man. All right, they talk about five, ten years in the future. You don't got that long, man. Hell no. They don't have that long. I don't want that long. Okay, no, this whole Jim Jones juice is in uh, preparation for them to pave the way to uh, kill the dollar and to bring in that digital currency, which is going to be the Karagma. And it says that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Right, perilous meaning uh, dangerous, savage-like, raiders. All right, you're going to have people out here raiding, man. Why Watch that show Vikings, all right? That's, that's what's going to happen out here. But people are gonna be looking for preppers. Right. They're gonna be looking for food. They're gonna be looking for shelter, and they're gonna be looking for supplies, man. Mm -hmm. You can also watch uh, Walking Dead. All right. That's right. Verse two: For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covet a uh, covetous. You even have that amongst Israel. That's yeah. a damn shame. You got grown ass men in, in love with themselves, in love with their titles. Right. You see, in love with the likes, the, the comments, the status, yeah. the Instagram. It says boasters of, of proud blasphemers, disobedient to parents. Right, what 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 uh what body and how shot doing, that's blasphemy. Alright? What Comfy was doing, that's blasphemy. Mm -hmm. You see? Well you just said uh Deacon Akad uh do a clickbait and he lied. He said that it was GMS versus Sakari. Right. And Elder Apostle Ramlop said, that's no GMS member. Right. right. You know, but he smiling, he put that shit. You're a fucking nigga, man. You know what I mean? It's crazy because it's like, in the spirit, we, you know, it, we, we understand you got to repent, you got to do this. But it's like, the blatant shit you do, Ooh. it's like you force you force the hand and say, the Lord's going to judge you. Hey, we're not even having no uh, new members. So what, 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 what makes you think we're going to sit up here and debate someone? Or, and, or, and, and what you think if somebody said, hey, brother, uh, can I go debate? What the hell's wrong with you, bro? Right. Now you have to sit his ass down. Why, why we got to debate with anyone? We don't need a debate. You know? Ain't nothing to talk about. We need to go out and teach. Right. <clears throat> you know? So that was, that was some uh, dishonorable shit. The, the only other nigga I know that did that is Tupac. When he uh, portrayed Biggie and hit him up, you know what I mean? Like, who who lies and says this is someone and it ain't? You're your father, the devil, nigga. You know, I don't have to say it like that. And it says, uh, unthankful, unholy, uh, without natural yeah, affection. Unholy. You got a lot of Jakes that are worldly as shit, man. They're your haircuts worldly. You know, uh, you, you walk around and and you got all this fucking worldly ass clothes on. You wear your fringes to match your Jordans, your Belusis. You look stupid, man. <laughs> you look fucking stupid. Jake looks stupid out here. Boy, they smoke Belusis. Right. A lot, of, a lot of them niggas stinkily smoke. Yep. 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 And they're adulterers, too. You know? <clears throat> they use that law to be wicked. They yeah. come to camp high and drunk. But yep. guns. And they t yeah. That the nigga was shit. nodding off on, on live, and they don't do those shows no yep. more. Yep. And I recorded it, too, but ultimately the Lord did. Nigga's nodding off, bro. The fuck are you on? Demon. Shit, I, I like to I'd like to sip too, but it ain't had never had me like that. Right. <laughs> right though? Like, bro, lay down. Fucking drooling and shit. Yeah. Right. You, you, you shouldn't be teaching, man. That's 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 really the, the point. Uh, a lot of you should not be teaching. Your yep. mouths need to be stopped. Yep. You know, but for prophecy's sake, the blind shall lead the blind, they shall both fall into yep. the ditch. 
the Lord allows you to be set up as a necessary evil. Yep. See. And it says, uh, truth breakers, false accusers, and well, there you go, false, false accusers. accusers man. Man. All right, you calling us uh, uh, rapists? You know, whatever, whatever the fuck you say, you you false accusers, man. And that's, so that's what he's talking about. Yeah. He's the accuser of thy brother. So you have gone into the ways of Cain. Yeah. And it says, incontinent. Uncontrollable. Yep. Uh, fierce. Well, a lot of you can't control your mouth. You know? Yeah. You cannot control your mouth. But hey, that's that's going to be your destruction, man. Because dude, cause thy word shall thou be justified, and by thy word shall thou be condemned. That's right. Unless you repent. You want it? It's right here. Yeah, yeah. This is Matthews 12. Matthews 12 and 36. Uh, and it reads, But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, that they shall give a Right, even, even what you're thinking. Ooh. Even your thoughts. Ooh. All right, you better keep your... You don't, no, don't just watch your mouth. Watch your mind. In your ass. Watch what you're thinking. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Watch. That goes for us too. Yeah. You know? Watch what you're thinking before you start stinking. You know? Before you start... <laughs> you better think hey, before you up. blink. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, you, they think for you speak, <laughs> you know. It says they and look. It says they shall give an account. So now you gonna have to explain yourself. You know, imagine doing some wicked shit, and then you gotta explain your actions. You can't blame Satan. Demons ain't gonna be there. You gonna have to. You gonna have to answer what you did in that body. It says whether good or bad. You know. Uh, and it says they shall give account thereof in a day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Right. So, hey, that proves uh, work. You know, like Christians try to push, there ain't no work doctrine. You better, you better watch what you say when the workings of your mouth. And that, this is prophecy, but I wanted to get into some uh, prophecy more. Look, so let's get this. I wanted to get into rock too, but we can drop that and get some prophecy. All right, I'm gonna just finish off. Yeah, that's cool, brother. All right, and it says, uh, these uh, f uh inconstant, fierce, despises of those that are good. Uh, yeah, that was that, that was point. Hey, that, that's it. That 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 describes uh all of these people out here that that come against the truth. That even describes niggas amongst Israel, man. Mm -hmm. You know, quick one. Matthew's 24 and three, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying. Tell right, us. And that wasn't, was that all 12 disciples? No, it wasn't. All right? Because if you go to Luke 21, you go to Luke 21, real quick, I'll look this up. I believe it tells you that it was just uh, got you. Uh, Peter, Andrew. All right? Because <clears throat> the Lord deals with order, man. All right? Uh, I'll just read it again. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. Right, so that, that's the spirit you want to be in. You want to you want to know uh Wednesday how shy coming back. What signs point to his coming? How I'm gonna know he's on the way. Okay? We're out here to uh break that down to you. Oh, then I believe uh, it's November 19th. It's supposed to be the longest uh, blood moon of the century. That's one of those signs. Earthquakes, the La, the La Palma volcano eruption. That's another sign. All right, famine. I believe that was a uh, post. Let me see. I believe right now, and uh, it was on Russia today. We actually have people fighting up over food. Yeah, the Poland border. Water. Uh, Jump it down, verse <laughs> 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right now, Russia and Ukraine, you know, that's the wars going on out there. Uh, uh, America is threatening uh, Russia. If they invade or do anything to Ukraine, they're going to force their hand. You got Brother, it. Brother, ask me a question one time. Yeah. I know one time I was drunk. I was just asking. I am following the Quran, right? So you know how people say that Jesus was crucified. So, when I read the Quran, I see the woman, I see the floor, he said that he hunted him, but the creator learned him. So that means, I'm, I'm going to bring next time instead of talking about it, you know what I mean, because I got an actor I'm from Africa, from Islands. But he tell you straight up, that oh, he never crucified Allah London, but as I said right now, 
the real growth why we see both the Somalians, all my cousins, my people dying, everybody turned gangster, killing each other. So it's already World War II. But they asked Prophet Muhammad Allah Muhammad Allah, about the hour. But I, Muhammad's a false prophet. And oh, we he's don't, messenger. He was nothing but messenger. Now we don't we don't we don't adhere to the Quran or none of its teachings. But but remember one thing, the Bible, Jesus <laughs> said that you would have another prophet when, out of me no. to be happy. He never said that. And it's no. not Muhammad. No. It's not Muhammad. The prophets that he's talking about are the prophets that are written in the Bible. Elijah came back, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, okay. all of them came back. So, so that, that Quran that you're reading, it's it's plagiarism. It's, it's plagiarism. It's, you, it's but, not the source. Okay, so I see things. I saw one day, I'm drunk. I'm so mad. I was like, man, I've been getting this Jesus word. I just brought this prank here. I'm not from here. I feel like a total to me. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go to Ohio. I know a lot of Somalis. That day I was not in welfare. Sun was out, see? So I was like, oh, no, man. Like, he got changed. You know I mean? So we need to just but next time I feel cool. So what I do, I mean, I'm not like 100% in the religious stores, I'm like doing gangster, religious, corner stores, basketball, like, you know what I mean? Peace, man. Next time I'll make sure my brother, I'm not gonna waste that time. I'm gonna write down whatever I get it from the Bible, the Quran, I'm gonna come through talk to you about it. You do that Allah, because man. guess what? Inshallah. The Quran tells you to honor the people of the Bible, does it not? No. It tells you that Israelite. He tells you the whole prophet from Adam, the Jews, Noah, who Salah. He mentioned 25 prophets. He mentioned 25 prophets. He mentioned like uh, when the Surah spirit was revolved. Most of so uh uh Jibils, big prophet Muhammad in a, in a heavenly heaven and was revolving the Surah of 72, the spirit. So Moses, he said that he would have more followers. Also, Moses. He was going to have everything to be for Moses. What, what prophecies so, are in the Quran? They are so, they have every prophecy. He explained to you, it's like I got the old... Is America in the Quran? Uh, no. Is that, um, America's in the Bible. Oh, I'm Is slavery you. in the Quran? Slavery is in the Bible. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. I look at the whole Quran, everything the Bible is, uh, the Torah, the Bible is in there. You have like 15%. That's the what uh, have you ever heard about like the RFID chip? Have you ever heard about like a microchip they put in people? You ever heard about that? Like in science? Science. They're doing it around the world where people are buying they're buying their product with like their cell phone or a chip inside them. It's heavy in Sweden. Have you seen that? Jeez, I never heard that. I grew up in so much. But, but you know what though? The Bible tells us that. Oh, word. But not the Quran. But remember, what does the Quran say about the like uh, the world ending? Like does it say anything about that? Uh, oh, yeah. they, How are we going to get like out of destruction? America? Like destruction? What Allah. would you say for us to do with the Quran to get out of America? I mean, like, it's not about America no more. So what would we? What would the Quran tell us to do? <laughs> Peace. But who? Peace to, to Allah, the Creator. And that's going to get us out of here? What's that going to do? I mean, God didn't create the money. So I see all my boys. I know I've been here 23 years. So I graduated, frankly, I made all started soccer. I'm good in basketball. But I saw a lot of my... Families that I used to know from here, I got daughter 21, she black and Somali, I got Puerto Rico, uh, Somali in, 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 in Rico, but they, they're struggling, but it's not like they're struggling. So when I seen it, I went to homeless too. So after that, I seen it live, is the way I'm to. The, with the slavery that ha you're familiar with slaves, like, like black people, did it? Did the Quran like, prophesize that would happen? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not like, see how you did it, Bible? Because, Bible so did. You, yeah, you did See? it. So you, I, need, I didn't study all that long. But I'm, what I'm trying to show you is this book right here, it, it's unmatched. This Please. this has the answers, and there's other books that they have created based off of this, and they try to match which with it, but it fails every time. Like the, like the face mask. What does the Quran say about diseases in the end days? Because it always I always hear Prophet Muhammad. Like so what did he prophesy that was going to happen before it did? Prophet was bringing the peace, man. You see how we go Islam? Look. So this Islam, look, we said, Allahu Akbar. So we do it for Christians. We stay longer than we do for the angels. We do for the Jews. So we do the same thing. It's, it's called praying and peace. It's the only way out as you make the first Did the Quran tell, did, did Prophet Muhammad prophesy that the children of Israel would lose their identity and a nation of people would replace that identity? The Quran, he told them... Because these are like major facts. Because right. we could just yell peace right. Right. and I could just say, 
Allah and love, but we're actually talking about like actually prophetic events that have changed the known world. Right, he, even oh, the Arab really? slave trade. Right. Oh, you no. know about the Islam Arab slave trade? Exists. The slave exists. I'm going to walk Do you know that America, according to the Bible, is going to be destroyed with nuclear missiles? According to the Third World War? I, I just no, I'm just asking yes or no. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you knew that? I that yeah. Oh, okay, good. Did the Quran teach you that? I mean, the Quran is deep. But did it teach you that? It's deep. I didn't read all did that. Did you never get an answer? <laughs> you never get an answer. Well, well, hold on. I got a question. Yeah, yeah. What does the Quran say about faith? No, Quran said that first of all, Muslim is a peach. So like me, when I'm drinking, I'm not pee. I'm just stuck. Like, oh man, I'll be going to the store, my cousin's store. You got to like, rebuke those spirits. Yeah, that, yeah. that Quran, that's a strong illusion, man. Uh, yeah. This is the real way. This yeah, is wait. the real way. I, I'm not going to disrespect y'all. Y'all weeks, like y'all in the school, y'all like in the college. Yeah, he studied that. Y'all know everything was in the Bible. What's it's the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. 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 So yeah. what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it forward for it. Okay. One day, I'm going to read the whole Quran. Okay, <laughs> good. I'm going to touch when I'm drinking. Good. I'm going to put good things and good things. Good. Like the last time, I was sitting with the shoulders. So I was trying <laughs> to make the most of the I found everything uh -huh. in the Bible, same thing in the Quran. So no. it's the same thing, no. but it's the same point because the Bible changed seven times. Well, listen, Quran, let me... It never changed one time. No, wait. Well, let me, yeah, let me tell you something. Okay, Do you bro. know that prophet, the, uh, who you know as a prophet, <clears throat> Muhammad, he favored the Jew customs best? Do you know where Ramadan comes from? Ramadan comes from, I mean, to be a man, no, it's a man gun. Well, what is, see well how? Ramadan comes from the Day of Atonement. You see, when they fast for 24 hours, right? Okay. That's what you do in Ramadan, right? Yeah, but well, that comes know. from the Day of Atonement. Oh, oh you know that, y'all study. Yeah. I respect yeah. you, y'all movie star. You see? But yo, next time, OG, whatever my found for religion, one time I talk to him, man, Okay. You feel me? So okay. I'm gonna live with what you think. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought we was gonna have to go, go to the go Babylon, ahead, go ahead. but just for you know for edification, okay, just for edification, because you know we got sheep at home, you know, and and sometimes too you gotta understand that could be that could be Satan trying to plant something in you. And that's yeah. why we we have a spirit to stand in defense of the gospel, because he's actually came up probably like six seven times. Yeah. And one time he came up being a demon, he meant it, you know, drinking. Uh, then another time he came and the cops actually had to remove him. And then we had to tell them to leave, you know, but but uh, just for edification, it says the birth of Islam, page 44 and 45 out of from Babylon to Timbuktu. Just to read this, uh, which we had to read this all the time when we first came out here. Remember? Yeah. It says even, even that one time over there. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. yeah. I didn't read it. But you should read it. Yeah. Right down street, yeah. I was going to tell him before you come back, just read all the Quran first. Right. <laughs> read it. Read all that first. Then come back. It says, after Muhammad became a camel driver, which is spiritual because Ishmael is known as a taxi driver. <laughs> it says, he traveled to remote and intriguing lands. He led his caravans to Persia, Syria, and Egypt, transacting business with merchants of every kind. On his business trip, he met Jews, Christians, and members of other sects. He, he interrogated them concerning of the Jews uh, uh, concerning the tenets of the religion, he frequented the environment of the Jews and their rabbis. Muhammad's a false prophet. Man. Yeah, he is. Just to tell you like it is. That's yeah, a he false is. prophet. He got a strong delusion over a lot of people. Peace. You know? He kept peace. What, what peace? What Where the fuck do you mean peace? Where you had peace, but you got a damn face mask so we can't even hear you. Right. God damn. And if if, if Jake was uh, kept peace, during the time of the Maccabees, the Greeks would have slaughtered us. Right. That's why the Maccabees had to make a decree and say, yo, even if it's a Sabbath, you, you can't let this man just decim decimate you, man. Right. You know? Peace. You know? Ain't no peace out here because you're talking about peace. Right. right. That shit. <laughs> That's something some a Christian would tell you. That's it, man. The Quran is deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, deep ditch. Yeah, right. it's a deep ditch. It tells you that in Proverbs, a whore is a deep ditch. Yep. Right. You know? Yep. And it says, uh, Mostly because, uh, mostly because their merchants and their op, op, opniate present ethnic group, because he could not read or write. Because it, what? Because he could not read or write. So who wrote the Quran? His ears were attentive and keen to everything 
that the Jews related to him. So who wrote the Quran? If, if, if the Prophet Muhammad could read or write it, because these men could read and write, write the prophets did. That's how they noted it in the book. See, our people were always smart, uh, intelligent, uh, spoke different languages. You see, and Mah it says Muhammad learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion and compounded it with his new religion, Islam. Very close to a closed caption. All right. Ramadan comes from the Day of Atonement. Right. The reason why they wear their beards is because they get it from the Israelites. The reason why their women are covered up because they get it from yep. the Israelites. Face to east. You yep. see, praying uh, multiple times a day. Yep. Now, we don't say you got to pray five times a day, but the scripture does say pray without ceasing. Right. You know? Uh, I got the uh, one in the, the Mark stuff. Okay. Hey, John. Hey. This uh, Isaiah 34. This is a different type of cold out here. Yeah, yeah. That one chill. Yeah. Isaiah 34, and uh, at this we'll go back to Mark. Uh, Isaiah 34, verse 16. Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, and none shall want her mate. This is all you need, man. Like uh, Pop Stone Craig. This is all the protection you need. Right. You right. know? That's all we need. You don't need no, no, you don't need a Quran. You don't need the book of Enoch. You don't need the uh, Jasher. Book of Jasher. Right. All right. Leave those books alone, especially if you're just coming in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've noticed I've seen one state trooper. There's another one. That's because it's under a state of emergency. Yep. See? Now all these extra police force are in here. Yep. Good. Which I told the brothers, you know, that they could be doing that to come after us. Good. You never know. It could be brothers, you know, you might not see them because the, the city's under a state of emergency. They had to flee or they are they being persecuted. Yep. You know, so if you don't know right now, you know, if you want to, I don't know if you can get a message he sent. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. What you, what you want the, the message he sent to the chat about the state of emergency. Yeah, so they can enact policies to tell us to get off the street. Yeah. And you know what? We would. And I'm cold anyways. Right. So <laughs> we're doing the work. We're suffering. We're suffering, bitch. So we're doing the work, man. But uh, the, st the term state of emergency goes back to Rome. So this proves we're in Rome all over again. Because only the Roman Senate could enact what they know now as state of emergency. I got it right here, but it's, it's loading. All right. But until it loads, I'm going to finish this off. Uh, iPhone? <laughs> Android, <laughs> brother. You get that Android. No, I know. I'm oh, there so I got it. <laughs> so right here, it said this is this um, RochesterBeacon.com. And it says state of emergency and Rochester declared, and, and this is yesterday. And it's right here. It's weird how let's find that real quick. <laughs> but but her ass had no problem driving down the street with fucking loudmouth woman right. playing WAP to vote for me. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, remember she drove right down the street yeah, that when he's that big ass truck. Just promoting our, uh, I, our campaign. I locked her right I locked her right in the eyes, man. Mm -hmm. And then right after that, she got charged with some fucking gun charge. And drugs. Her, her, her boy, her husband, her boy toy. And her house. And then this bitch went to Chipotle and got salmonella. <laughs> boy, you know? Judgment. Yeah. That's what she get, because they interrupted camp. Mm -hmm. And I'll be reading the comments on the site, too. Nobody likes her. Nobody likes her. They all want her out. Yeah. Yep. 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 Especially Esau. Hell yeah. She didn't do shit for Rochester. And it says, um, she man, not, she not supposed to. Right. Well, she you know? did get rid of. She got rid of those. Uh, they the lights would uh, uh, snap your license plate. and They give you a ticket, but that was the only where Jake lived at. It wasn't mm -hmm. there around the court. You see, right that out there. That's the only thing she did. <laughs> no. Well, it ain't much, you know, because that's actually uh, that's confusion. Because according to the American rights, you have the right of being a private citizen, but because you use a state regulated uh, license plate. Now they can loophole your private citizenship and run your tag. Mm -hmm. So the state is against your constitutional rights. You can't tell me this ain't prison houses. Right. Man. Each fucking state's got its own governor. Each state's got its own Supreme Court. Each state's got its own state prison. How did Pac say he said, oh, we, 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 we were set up to lose? That's the way somebody said, man. He had a couple good points. He said we're not set up to survive because that's the way it is. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. 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 It says Mayor Lovely Warren has declared a state of emergency in the city of Rochester with the goal to remove violent offenders from neighborhoods. 
in a joint. In what neighborhoods? This is all directed towards Jake. Right. This is all directed towards Jake. But you know what? Uh, uh, if you don't live in Rochester, she's not your mayor. You know, because each city's got its own. You know what I mean? Uh, Brighton, Rondequay, right, those all got their own mayor. So Henrietta, Henrietta they're not under state of emergency. It's just this right here. This where, right where, here. Where Jake is at? Where Jake's at? Where we teach at? More importantly, Lauren Burr. You know. Hey, when we go to the outskirts, we've done did it before through the spirit. Oh well, guess what? We're on uh, the prophecy of uh, uh, the famine of hearing the word has begun. They're pushing an onslaught to uh, obliterate you. You know, the water. Yep. Hey, I'm just going to end this one. Well, that one, I'm going to keep charged. Oh, okay. This one's low. Let me see. This one's the lowest, see? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, 77. Oh, 77. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I keep, you want to keep going. Yeah. And it says, um, <clears throat> but now with the, the season, the phones are dying now. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't got film crew like other camps. <laughs> right. Production, you know, like this is a megaphone, it. yeah, uh, illustrious intros, right. yeah. You know? Sorry, we don't got a fucking lion jumping through a flaming ring. We, we straight raw, right. we straight raw, straight raw, raw, not cut, man. This is only straight for the rough. sincere, you know. And it says, Excuse me, and <laughs> in, in a joint statement Friday with City Council Vice President Willie Lightfoot, who chairs the Public Safety, Recreation, and Human Services Committee. Warren said the wretches of police department oh, has been. Damn, man. That, that's, that's why they, we understood him. Right that nigga right. right there. That nigga yeah, culprit. Like that. that nigga cut his steak with a gun. That nigga shoot you. Right. That nigga shoot you for not uh, turning on a red light. Right. Then he probably the one. Hey, but this is just a spirit that's going around all America, man. You know? Raw, gritty. Drill music. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, like all, all these people are being sacrificed. Yeah, bro. Yeah. There's a lot of sacrifices going on. Yeah? I've, I've noticed, too, there's a lot of Israelites that have been passing away amongst these camps. Yeah. Fallen soldier this, uh, lieutenant that, officer, you know, rest easy a lot, bro. In this past couple months, I probably saw five to seven offhand. So that's, the, that's the Lord. That's the Lord, bro. A search in Jerusalem with those yeah. candles. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And it, uh, and it goes on to say, it says, Warren said the Rochester Police Department has been working with locals, state, and federal law enforcement partners uh -oh. to expand efforts to target individuals to target, to target, to target niggas. Yeah. Right. That's just speak plain. Niggas. Right. Hell yeah. But we live out here. We see them. You know? They're not innocent. They're not innocent, bro. Jake's not innocent, man. We had a... Uh, we had a, somebody steal a, a, a break in our car when we were at camp once. Yep. And they stole our camp camera. Yep. You know? Fucking demons. And it says, the individuals who are committing violence. We have also been working with the, the city law department to determine what emergency powers we can exercise. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It said emergency powers, powers that we can exercise. Those powers will come in the form of policies because there's under state of emergency, your constitutional rights are suspended and policies are allowed to be empowered. Mm. Which means what? Martial law. Yep. Right? Yep. So they gonna they gonna, they gonna come in with that martial law, man. Yep. It's gonna be real bad out here. Right? Oh shit. These days are stupid, man. Good. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Got that case on it. Good. Well they building a case. Right. You know? Well we building we one building too. a case too. We auditing your ass right now. Yep. You know? Babylon on trial. Yep, Don't right. that Sarnetta else do that? <laughs> he really like <lied>, trial. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all saw last night he was cussing her out, his little woman. Mm. She was like, he was like, oh, you agree with Malone? <laughs> Did the Hebrews go in slavery? <laughs> you won't agree? She said, you being very, he said, man, sauce up. <laughs> I don't know what that meant, but it sounded just that's just sounded That shit sounded, that sounded raw. The spirits out here. Yeah. You had to, the raw rage has increased. Uh oh, yeah. these people off that juice. Yep, they off that jigger juice. Yep, they off that jigger juice. Man, jigger, uh, <laughs> jigger juice. And it says, um, uh, uh, the offenders have already committed crimes, are wanted for additional crimes. What's the definition of crime? An infraction of God's law. Mm. So anybody, so good. What's this proven? He's enslaving more jakes. Oh, the God of this world. Yep. Yep. Good point. Exactly. The God of this world has set up his laws 
that if you break them, you become a criminal. And under his uh, 14th Amendment, you now become a slave or an involuntary servant. Because right now you get hired at Burger King, I quit. Fuck you. Fuck You're you, cool. Right? I'm out. <laughs> Who's coming with me? But in jail, you can't quit. I'm done. I'm, I'm leaving. You got you stay, motherfucker. Two hots. Two hots and a cot. You know? That's real shit. So they're what? They're rounding up uh individuals. And they could be doing this as a ploy. Yep. You know, get the get the niggas off the street so we won't have such of a um opposition when we get the rest of them. Or or when we come down to uh give them that jigger juice. Yep. And they could this could go with that too. Yep. You know? They could say the crimes have increased uh, uh the numbers. Oh, it's auto of chaos. Yep. Yep. You got something about it? No, we need a second scripture. Yep. Spirit change. I mean, it's a good topic though. Yeah, yeah. You know? Sure. We're, we're, we're literally. Where's the IUIC at? They ain't over. Where's. You know why? It's a little too cold. Where's, it's a little too nippy for you. Damn. Alright. <laughs> Damn. And then you got well, ISBK. Come on. Officer 50. We saw you out here three Saturdays ago for, for 10 minutes. You know why? Because he said, oh, Captain Cesare is supposed to be coming. That's why they was out here. He was too busy doing car chronicles and got stuck in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what, this is the Lord making fun of you, man. This is your how about Shamel Shai making fun of you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Because I think it's I think it's bullshit for you to claim to be on the team but ain't putting no work in. Here it is, we all on a team. You ain't going to practice. You ain't doing drills. You don't know the playbook. Well, they asked uh, Kobe Bryant, you know, they say, man, why are you an asshole to your teammates? He said, man, I'm always in the fucking gym. I never leave the gym. They come to practice late. They leave early. Yeah. You think I'm going to pass them the ball? Yeah. No. Right. You know, that's the spirit of reading. Right. Hey. Yo, Ricky, don't eat. Yeah. And Paul said that. Remember uh, uh, Omar Epps in Higher Learning? The nigga got a scholarship for track and field. He didn't want to. Sh he showed up late with some punk ass uh, uh, vampire in Brooklyn shades on. And the nigga said, hey, man, <laughs> you ain't come to practice. You out. Then he went sighing and crying to uh, Ice Cube. And he said, you know what you got to do? Run, nigga, run. He that run that reading. You ain't out here running. You know what I mean? You ain't on the team. Shit. You don't work, you don't eat. You don't work, you don't eat. No. Right now, it's the perfect time to be working. Man. Yeah, because that winter's coming. Winter's here. Well, well then he, how shall I say, there's a time coming where it will be dark and no one yeah, should work. work yeah. You know, we come into that time. Uh, where are you going to start, brother Top? Uh, there's a lot. Let's start with you. All right, well, I'm going to read one first. Uh, second answer is 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will. We're, we're prophets to all of the nations, but mainly we are here for our people. All right, we're telling you that uh, the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. He's not just coming after you. He's coming after your wife, your children, your, your grandma, your dog. All right. He's coming for you. And you know what's beautiful? You know, the Lord put a thought on me the other day and it made me feel good. He uh, basically, I was watching a bunch of goon coon niggas sticking up, holding up Egypt for Esau. And the spirit was like, well, the Lord's going to have Esau beat the fuck out of them too. They're, they're, when, when the deal goes down, some black fucking Haitian woman in Miami.